Now we're going to be looking at how to solve multi-step equations that include a long fraction bar. So the first step is to get rid of this 8 down here. So this is like dividing everything on top by 8, and the opposite operation of that is to multiply both sides by 8. Now you can kind of think of the top having parentheses. The n plus 5 belong together, so when I do my times 8, the eights will still cancel. I don't need to distribute the eight up here because the eight in the numerator will cancel with the eight in the dom denominator before I do anything else. So the opposite of dividing by eight is to multiply by eight. So I'm gonna do that over here. Now that has canceled out our denominator. So we do not have a fraction bar or a denominator anymore. We simply have nine, or excuse me, n plus five equals 32. Now we can finish the equation by subtracting five and n equals 27 for the first one. Same thing's gonna happen. To get rid of this long fraction bar, instead of dividing everything by four, we're going to multiply the four over to this side. Now, when I write it, when I do this times four, I do not need to distribute because the four in the numerator and four in the denominator are going to cancel each, out, each other out. They are inverse operations but I have to put times four over here. Whatever you do to the left, you do to the right. And we have three y minus six equals 12. Now we can finish solving this equation by adding six to both sides. We get 18, divide by three, and y equals six for that one. Okay, one more example. Instead of dividing everything up here by three, the opposite operation is to multiply by three. These will cancel each other out. Moving it over here, draw my line down the middle. That helps me keep everything lined up. Three times five is 15 equals seven C plus one. Now we're going to subtract one. We get 14 equals seven C, divide by seven and two equals C or C equals two.